Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be talking about building and we're going to be talking a little bit more detail about sort of structural integrity and the strength of pieces and why they turn color and why they break so easily and also how far can you really push it. So let's say we were to build a wood piece right here. Now when you first build a piece they are blue colored and when I, when I see them as blue colored I like to consider them like the foundational piece or the grounding piece and what I mean by that is that the piece is touching the ground and it, by touching the ground it's supporting the weight of the rest of the structure above it and all the other pieces that you're going to add to it and this is really important because as you the pieces get further and further away from this foundational piece they get weaker and weaker until the point where they just simply will break off so for example here if i put another wall down the wall is actually another foundational piece because the wall itself is directly connected to the floor so i could actually break this um floor floorboard there and the wall is still blue because it's still sort of standing on its own touching the floor so the, actually the floor doesn't really matter as much so if we were to build this wall piece above the one we've already built, you'll see it turns green. And that's because by itself, it can't stand alone. Obviously, it won't be able to float in the air, but also because it's relying on the grounding piece, the foundational piece below it. And so the strength is a little bit weaker now because it's sort of one away from the ground. I could build a second wall piece off to the side here and then a third wall piece. And as you see, as I get further and further away from that foundational piece, the colors will start changing. See, so this goes from blue to green still green so these two pieces are pretty much of the same strength or integrity but then as we get further away you'll see it gets darker into a red color and eventually what will happen is because we've gotten so far away this one blue piece is holding up the weight of all these and as you get further away they're getting weaker and weaker and we got this dark red piece now so i think if i put another piece it should there you go it should crumble because it simply cannot support the weight anymore by going that far out so at some point i'm gonna have to reinforce this now, if you just reinforce it with a beam like this, putting these beams in between, you'll notice you can actually increase the um, stru structural stability just a little bit. It's not a lot. You'll see this still turns red. However, it does increase it just a little bit. Let's see if that actually makes a difference here. If we put another one there and another wall there. Does that stay? Let's see. Though You'll see the color slowly start to change as it starts to realize it cannot withstand it. Okay, so you can see it still can't take out their wall even though we've added these wooden pieces. However, if I were to do this, and let's say add a piece over here at the second spot here, now we've got two foundational pieces that are holding up the weight of this entire wall. So you don't have to go as far away as from here. You can kind of think of it as being refreshed from this point on down here. So it starts from green again. And these pieces are a little bit irrelevant now because the foundational piece starts from here. So we got green, green, and then now instead of red, it is a little bit sort of yellowish orange and we can continue on our way and then continue building until we get to again red where we'll have to support it again. Now, one common thing that you'll know is that when you, let's sort of clean up all this mess here. When you go to build a roof, at some point, you're going to have to, especially if you're building a high roof, which here, we'll build a ladder to try and get up there. So let's say we're continuing to build our roof. We build another one here. You'll notice the roof now is starting to change color to orange. And we should be able to fit another piece on there. And you'll see it slowly goes red. Now at this point, this is such a bright red color that I know probably if I add another piece here, it's going to break off. There you go. So if you see, it simply cannot withstand another piece on there because of the structural stability is so far away from that foundational piece down there. Now, what a lot of people like to do is they like to actually build horizontal bars and then across to the opposite side of the roof. Let's say you're building a full house. These horizontal bars, unfortunately, do not actually support the weight any better than not having them. Because, like I said earlier, it's all down to the foundational blue piece and they have no bearing on that piece down there. So one way to reinforce your roof tiles, especially, or anything that gets too high up, is to think about how far away am I from my foundational piece. And you can see here, this is our foundational piece because it's that blue piece that's connected to the ground. And if we count, it is one, two, three, four, five. So it's five pieces away from the ground. Now what we need to do is, in order to reinforce these pieces up here, is to try to connect this piece to the ground in fewer pieces because by if we connect it with another five pieces it doesn't really change anything it's still five pieces away from the foundational piece which is down here now how do you connect the roof up there down to the ground in fewer pieces well you need to use bigger pieces so one of the bigger pieces that you can really focus on using a lot is 
these log poles because they are up to four meters long. Now you unlock these when you find core wood. I won't spoil how to get core wood or where to get core wood. It's just that when you find a new type of tree and you're able to chop down that tree, you can get core wood. Excuse me, I'm trying to do a video here. So, with the core wood, if you built a four meter long pole, what you can do is actually snap one piece to the top up there, another piece below, and now you'll see this is also a blue piece, which means this is another foundational piece we've just built. So you can see here, now my roof is green because it is only three pieces away, actually really two pieces away from the foundational piece. And just like that, I've now reinforced this piece. And we can actually now continue to build even higher up. So you can see you can get quite far up. What we could do then is also then build a, now that we get to right here, we can build more log poles going straight down in order to expand as high as we can. Now I'm not sure how high you can go, it really depends on the log poles. And it's not easy to build as many log poles as you can. Let's see if we can get this one to snap up there. Alright, so with the log poles, it looks like one, two, three, four. So you could probably get maybe five log poles high. So you could get about that high. That gives you visual representation. Representation. Maybe we'll go down here. You could probably build a log cabin or a longhouse or whatever you're building about that high. Maybe one more, but remember, you've got to add more pieces off the edge of this. So if you think about it, those pieces that you add off will turn red and you won't be able to add any further than that. So that's about as high as you can get for now with the four meter pieces. If I were to use other pieces that are much longer in the game, at the moment I haven't found any other pieces that are longer than four meters, but I'm sure there is. If there is, then you will be able to expand much further. So I hope that makes sense, guys. Everything is down to these long uh, foundational pieces, whether it's a wall, whether it's a the, the first step of your ladder, or if it's an actual log pole like this. But here's a practical example for you guys. If you notice here, I've built a sort of a large roof longhouse and then a secondary roof up here as my chimney. But you'll notice, why is it that these pieces here are all green and, you know, pretty much I can add more to it, no problem above it. But now if I get here, this piece particular, and these two pieces are orange, and then it goes back to green again. So the only thing th that you can think about there is you have to think about, well, where is my foundational piece? Well, obviously it's this log pole. But as you come down here, this log pole is green. Which tells us that it's not connected to the ground so it must be connected to these four pieces so these floorboards are actually our grounding pieces our foundational pieces as opposed to this one where the actual post itself is touching the ground so this post is not actually touching the ground below it so this post is acting in the foundational piece which means there's only two pieces away one two to the actual roof tiles so you can go a little a lot further with these roof tiles here because we're only two pieces away from the blue piece whereas this one you see it's yellow because it goes green and then we then need to connect one more time to one of these floorboards in order to be grounded so if we looked underneath here let's have a look you can see there's a slight gap to the point where this piece now isn't actually touching the ground so it's not considered grounded so what i can do here is take my hoe erase the ground now this is going to be you know a little bit ugly here so what you can do is actually level the ground out and we might stand up here just to make sure this is all level. Oh, that takes the ground. See, that takes it away now. Because it's taken away, it's gone back to green. So we need to raise it up again. And maybe we'll raise it over here. There we go. So we've raised it without coming through the floorboards. Now, you see this blue piece has now become... Or this log pole has now become the foundational piece. It's turned to blue. So I don't really need the floorboards around it. On its own, it can stand. And that's now changed the color of the floorboards. You see, this used to be orange. Now it's green. You see, these horizontal pieces don't really have much bearing to it. As you can see, I can take them apart, and they're all still green. And let's say this yellow piece here, right? I could, let's say, build a... Um, let's build, say, a wood piece. Maybe going across. You know, maybe let's build across that way. There may be a piece built across here, but it doesn't change the fact that these pieces here need to find their way down to a grounding piece, whether it's through these poles or through the sidewalls there. So these horizontal pieces don't really do much for your structural stability other than the looks, the aesthetics. Unless you were to then connect these down with another, let's say, log pole like this, and we did this, then you're adding more structural stability. But until you actually connect them down to the ground, 
these horizontal pieces here don't really mean anything. And if they're already connected to a piece that's already created, let's say, for example, we've already got this piece here. Let's get rid of these two. And let's say we took them and we did it this way. The pieces themselves, you see, are not orange anymore because the pieces themselves, they are relying on this wooden pole, but it doesn't change the roof tiles. The roof tiles, this is still yellow like it was before. It doesn't actually help with the roof tiles. The only way to improve the structural stability of going, I guess, higher or further away from the ground is how many pieces does it take you to get there? With these long log poles, it only takes you a few pieces. If I were to build them all with these wooden poles, you could do so for sure. However, it does mean, in this case here, to get to the same spot, it would take me four pieces, but it's still green on the top. So you gotta kind of play with it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I prefer these log poles, one, because they look much better. They look more like log cabins, and two, it uses less pieces. You only require two to get to the top which kind of really helps the possibilities of what you can build i hope that makes sense guys remember it's all about where your blue pieces are those are your foundational pieces and you want to always be able to connect your roofs somehow down back to those blue pieces all right guys i hope that makes sense i hope you learned something from there and if you have any ideas of any other sort of topics i can cover please let me know i'm really enjoying these videos and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye